Well, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Amuna Project. We here at the Amuna Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to information, education, inspiration, guidance, advice, and I uh, was, when I was diving this morning, uh, we, um, during the course of uh, the day, during, during the course of the, of the week, especially on, on Sabbath, um, we recite the uh, song at the sea, the Shir Hayam. Uh, this was Miriam leading the Jewish people in song after they um, crossed the sea and the, uh, uh, the Egyptian uh, charioteers were drowned. This is in um, Exodus chapter 15. And I want to concentrate on the second verse of the Shir Hayam, the song at the sea. This is my God, and I will beautify him, the God of my father, and I will exalt him. And Rashi comments that um, I am not the genesis of this holiness. I didn't create this holiness. This is something that was bequeathed to me uh, from my uh, forefathers in whom it was firmly entrenched. Um, and as sometimes happens, um, I have a problem with Rashi. And the problem is this. He seems to be uh, saying that all this we received, all this holiness, all this Kedusha, all this Masara, the tradition we received from our fathers. And we just, we do it because of that. It's not really consistent with the wording because it says, this is my God, I will beautify him, the God of my father, and I will exalt him. If Rashi's stressing that we, you know, we're not the genesis of this, we received it from others, it would be the other way around, uh, the other way around. The God of my father and my God. Not a big problem, but here it is. It was uh, Rav Mordechai uh, Gifter who explains that uh, Avodos Hashem, the, um, the service of God, uh, serving the Almighty, um, demands both. Um, in order to pray, in order to serve God, you have to do it uh, individually. You have to make it yours. Um, it has to be uh, a part of you. you ha it's, this is what gives uh, spiritual growth. But at the same time, it's not a free-for-all. You can't do whatever you want. You always have to be mindful of the fact that this is something that we received from our forebears. And um, it seems at first that these contradict. Well, it's either me, mine as an individual, or something that I'm gonna have to just repeat because I got from my uh, great-grandfather's great-grandfather. They're not, it's not really a contradiction. Uh, it's an intrinsic uh, component of the Hashem, of, of the service of God. Um, it's actually one of the most basic and vital found, uh, foundations of our faith. Um, we have to have a close personal um, connection with the Almighty, a close personal connection with the Creator, but at the same time realizing that it is within the context of a tradition that has been received generation after generation for thousands of years. Um, it, has to, it has to be a, a synthesis of these two things. Um, he's, you have to sense that you're serving God uh, by employing your own uh, uniqueness, your own uh, point of view, your own uh, abilities, your own expertise. Um, but you have to realize that, that it has to coincide with the ways of our, of our forefathers, our forebears. Um, we are individuals with our, our own individuality, and simultaneously, you're not can't get so carried away in doing your own thing, your own style, that you forget that you are part of a great and long um, tradition going back generations and generations and thousands of years. Um, this, is, this is how you do it. This is the key. Serve him to the best of your abilities. Hashem is my God, but you must remember that he is the God uh, of our ancestors, a God of our forefathers. You continue to serve him in the manner conveyed to us by our forebears. We're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. I hope you're finding them useful. I hope you're uh, finding some inspiration from them. And until next time, on behalf of the Mono Project, I'm Daniel. 
and thank you so much.